All the King's Men, a novel by American author Robert Penn Warren, was first published in 1946. The story is set in the American South during the 1930s, and it follows the rise and fall of a populist politician named Willie Stark. The novel is narrated by Jack Burden, a political journalist who becomes one of Stark's closest advisors. Through its exploration of political power, corruption, and personal responsibility, All the King's Men examines the complexities of human morality and the consequences of individual actions. The novel begins with Jack Burden, a reporter for the local newspaper, who is assigned to cover the campaign of Willie Stark, a small-town lawyer running for governor of an unnamed southern state. Stark initially presents himself as an honest, idealistic candidate, but his campaign fails to gain traction. However, when Stark discovers the truth about the corruption and greed that dominate the political landscape, he transforms himself into a charismatic and ruthless politician, using populist rhetoric and fear to gain the support of the people. As Stark's political career takes off, Jack becomes increasingly involved in the inner workings of his administration. He serves as Stark's right-hand man, often participating in morally questionable activities to further Stark's political ambitions. Throughout the novel, Jack reflects on his own personal history and the events that have shaped his life, including his troubled relationship with his mother, his failed marriage to his childhood sweetheart in Stanton, and his complicated friendship with Adam Stanton, Anne's brother. While Stark's rise to power is driven by his desire to fight against the corrupt elite and uplift the common people, his methods become increasingly ruthless and manipulative. He amasses power through blackmail, coercion, and deception, ultimately becoming the very thing he initially sought to combat. As Stark's administration becomes more and more corrupt, Jack finds himself questioning his own role in the system and his responsibility for the moral decay that has taken hold of their state. As the novel progresses, the personal and political lives of the characters become increasingly intertwined, leading to a series of tragic events. Adam Stanton, a respected doctor and the son of a former governor, is appointed by Stark to head a new hospital project. However, when Adam discovers that his sister and has become romantically involved with Stark, he is devastated, and his relationship with both and and Jack becomes strained. The tensions between the characters reach a boiling point when it is revealed that Stark has been involved in a series of extramarital affairs, including one with and Stanton. In a fit of rage, Adam confronts Stark and shoots him, mortally wounding the governor. In the chaos that ensues, Adam is killed by Stark's bodyguard. In the aftermath of these tragic events, Jack must come to terms with the consequences of his own actions and the role he has played in the rise and fall of Willie Stark. He reflects on the nature of power, the corrupting influence of ambition, and the personal responsibility each individual bears for the moral climate of their society. The novel concludes with Jack leaving politics behind and returning to his family's ancestral home, where he attempts to make amends for his past actions and find redemption through a renewed commitment to truth and integrity. All the King's Men is a powerful exploration of the complexities of human morality and the consequences of individual choices in the face of political power and ambition. The novel delves into themes such as personal responsibility, the corrupting influence of power, and the nature of human ambition, offering a compelling and thought-provoking portrait of the American political landscape during the 1930s. Robert Penn Warren's work remains a significant and influential piece of American literature, resonating with readers across generations and cultural backgrounds as they grapple with the universal challenges of morality, power, and the human condition. We hope you are enjoying the content on the Library Channel. Our team is dedicated to bringing you the best book summary, recommendations, and literary discussions on YouTube. If you are finding our content helpful, we would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts or suggestions, and subscribe to our channel. This will help us grow and continue to provide you with more great content in the future. Thank you for your support and happy reading.